name is Betty Yang. I am the youngest of four of Pauling's children. And I'm also the founder and CEO of Inspiring Diversity, which is actually a company that's been inspired by my mom. Um, and uh, I'm extremely pleased to represent my family here today. Wave your hands. Thank you. Well, I hope you're all enjoying the month of May, which is really a very special month. It's the month of Mother's Day, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, Older Americans Month, and you know what? This is a very, very special May, too, because it's also my mom's 75th birthday tomorrow. She didn't really want me to talk about that too much, but, but, I, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, but before we even, uh, you know, so what better time than the present to have an event that honors my mom? And uh, but before we get started, I really did want to take a minute to to really thank you all for for being here. Um, and you know, it's funny because a month ago, this event wasn't even being planned. And then at the end of April, I had the great fortune of meeting with Julie Menon who is, uh, as, as many of you know, the Commissioner of the New York City office, Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment. And she really encouraged me to put on this event for my mom. So I definitely have Julie to thank for all the encouragement. Um, and you know, my mom and I have always believed in the power of community. And it is precisely because of that power of community that this event was brought together so quickly and so well. Um, it was because of a lot of people saying, hey, we really want to do this for polling because she's done so much for us. And so I wanted to thank CPC, Wayne Ho and his team. <laughs> Chung Pak, so Jackie, and uh, all your team. Of course, Julie Menon. May Chen, May Chen, where are you? you definitely couldn't have done it without May Chen. <laughs> and then also my colleagues here from Inspiring Diversity, thank you very much. And of course all of you for being here because this wouldn't be a, you know, a special event without you all because you all have a very, very special place in my mom's life and heart. Um, you know, and as some of you know, my mom and I are writing a book together, uh, which we hope to publish at the end of the year. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a dual perspective autobiography, talking about my life story as well as my mom's life story, weaving in the polling principles. And many of you may ask, well, what are the polling principles? Um, and uh, some of you may know the story, uh, but for those of you who don't, I, I'll just quickly tell it just to level set. Um, so in November of 2015, I was awarded as a corporate trailblazer uh, by the Chinese American Planning Council, by CPC. And in the process of writing my acceptance speech, I really had to think long and hard about who I am, how I, get, how I got to where I am, and all roads led back to my mom, who has just been an incredible mother, and, a, and really a, just a wonderful role model for me, for my, for my sister Mindy, my brother John, for Jeannie, and, um, you know, and, and for, for many of us in this room, just really an incredible role model. And so um, when I looked at her name, I realized that every letter of my mother's name represents an important principle for success and impact, however you personally define it. P is for persevering for your priorities and passions. O is for others helping others to succeed. L is for leading, really driving change and action where needed, as opposed to just waiting for others to do something. I is for inspire, exuding that confidence and conviction for what you believe in, and inspiring others to follow you to make things happen. N is for network, which is really about building and leveraging relationships to drive change and impact this world. And G is for growth. Always embracing adversity, diversity, change, and failure, and pushing yourself to be better all the time. And, you know, I, 
and thinking about how to best pay tribute to my mother today, we thought that it would be great if our speakers could spend a few minutes telling a story about a time when my mother herself exemplified these polling principles. 